Welcome back. We continue our look back at the queen of Summerfest, Bo Black. This story is from 2008 when Bo managed to visit her grandkids in Chicago. We were there. Swing, yeah. Hi, this is your little baby. This is Brewer. This is, As Bo Black shows off her youngest grandchild, she knows just how precious life truly is. <laughs> Bo tells me these moments are golden. I love you, baby girl. Because of her health, Bo Black has not always been able to be there as her young grandchildren grow up. However, she says one of her greatest joys these days is to come to Evanston and reconnect with her daughter and her three grandchildren. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to swing. These are Bo's only grandkids, six-year-old Grace, four-year-old Jack, and little Brewer, almost two. <laughs> The children help her stay upbeat after a mini stroke just days ago. Doctors told her this could happen after her massive stroke she suffered February of last year. I can't really focus as well, so I haven't been able to drive. But this former cheerleader, beauty queen, and homecoming queen stays upbeat. If I were just right. walking through a store and I met you, I would not know that you had gone through so much. How do you do that? put makeup on and do my hair. Bo has conquered depression by focusing on what matters. I live for my kids, really. I mean, that's really what I live for. When I look at you and I think, okay, your spirits are up. I do want to live. You know, before I didn't want to live, and now I, I want to live so badly. And, you know, it's so funny how you can change. And faith has been critical. Yeah, I really did. I mean, I don't know. It just was, it was like miraculous. And I went to church. And, um, you know, churches help. Yeah, churches definitely help me. Bo gets tired easily. She did need my support as we walked around. I'm doing it. You know, <laughs> you are. And then I've got these glasses that they've given me that I can't see anything. Through it all, one of Milwaukee's brightest stars finds the strength to live and leave a legacy. She really just leads by example and has taught us so much about, you know, being a good person and being a strong person. And, um, having fun in life, really. I learned from her to, um, to no matter how sick you are, to always come and visit your family. But now I feel like you're going to be here for a while. I don't know. You know, you never know, but I, I sure hope so. <laughs> now, it's hard to believe that was just 12 years ago. Bo, though, you will always remain in our hearts, and we miss you already. She was a real champion of the underserved and the underrepresented. Her husband, Tom Treblehorn, tells me they hope to honor Bo with a Milwaukee service at a later date when it is safe.